finally, I think what we find here is not only was Mary faithful in the beginning, Mary was faithful all the way through. So Mary was faithful in her devotion. Mary wasn't just the earthly mother to Jesus when he was born, but Mary was a faithful mother to Jesus even until he died. Mary was devoted to Jesus at his birth and at his death. Mary wasn't just the mother of Jesus. You need to understand, Mary was also a follower of Jesus. And the source of Mary's faith was her son. Because Mary treasured these things in her heart, the announcement that the angel Gabriel made to her. And so Mary knew that, yes, I'm the earthly mother of Jesus, but Jesus is God the Son who would leave heaven, come to this earth, live a sinless life, and yet allow himself to take on the punishment of sin to to even become sin on our behalf so that you and I could have a relationship with God the Father provided by an introduction from God the Son. And Mary was devoted to that. Mary's devotion didn't waver as a follower of Jesus. She believed in him, trusted in him, followed him. All the way to the cross. And then three days later, once again, Mary was able to see God do the impossible. Because the impossible became possible. As on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. Overcoming and defeating sin, shame, the evil one, this world in which we live, Jesus is victorious. And Luke 2, 19 says this, Mary quietly treasured these things in her heart. And often she thought about them. I bet she did. Hey, this season of Advent of hope, here's hope. Jesus loves you. There's hope in that. Would you treasure those sayings in your heart today? Would you allow the scripture that we just read, the story that Mary tells, for you to remain faithful? Trust God for the impossible. And know this. Here's hope. Jesus cares for you. You know, the story goes, did Mary know? Great debate. I think she did. I think Mary knew that God was going to deliver her through the child she would deliver. 